Ah, uh, yes, true creator. Your mesh won't animate? Watch me fix it within minutes by forcing the epic skeleton inside it. All right, let's get started. Okay, so to start out with, we're gonna just go ahead and head over to the Mixamo site. And I'm gonna actually use this uh, Maria JJ in the project. So let's go ahead and start by heading to the project with this one. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna go ahead and create a quick folder, uh, new folder here. And we're just gonna name it Mixamo. We'll double click into that folder. We're gonna select import. Now I put my particular one on the desktop. So I got the Maria right here. And then I'm just gonna just import it regular. Do a control shift S to save. All right, so once that's done, what I wanna do here is instead of using this level, we're gonna start with a clean level. So we're just gonna hit the control and end button. And we're just going to use the basic level and hit create. We're going to go to the start right here. And this is actually dead center in this level, which is OK. But we're going to be using dead center of this level. So we're just going to move this out the way for a second. Uh, we can leave it right there, which will be, which will be fine. And uh, right here, we're going to enter the content folder. And we need to go to our character. And the thing is, we're going to need to create an A pose, OK, uh, as an animation, because we're going to need it so we can uh, retarget our animations to line them up. And I'm going to show you that here in a minute. So we're on the mannequins. We're going to go to meshes. And we're going to grab, I guess we'll grab the Quinn one. And we're just going to, while she's still highlighted in the level, just make sure we hit this right here, the 0. And now she's dead center. OK, so now we're going to go to our content drawer, go back into the top here. We're going to right click, and we're going to create something called a cinematic, which, which is a level sequence. OK, now we don't need to name it or anything. We can just hit Enter, do a Control-Shift-S, and save it. Oh, while we're here, let's go ahead and save the level. Let's go into our third person here, and let's just put our map next to it. We'll just call this, you know, change room, change room and then hit save. Now, let's go ahead and open up the level sequence. Minimize the content drawer. Now, right here, we're gonna click on the Add button, and in this Add button, we're going to select this actor tracker right here, and we wanna add the Quinn to this. Now, we, we don't need the actual uh, CR Manny body because that's just the control rig. So we can go ahead and right click and we can delete that. OK, yeah, just make sure that you have this selected. And then right here, we're going to hit record. OK, so let's go ahead and hit record. Yes, you want to start recording. And then you only need about a couple seconds. You can hit the pause here, and then you can just hit stop. And then right here, you want to take this, this red tracker right here and put it right here. And then right here, you, like I said, you want to make sure this is highlighted. Right click it. And what we're going to do is we're just going to bake the animation sequence. So right here. And then we're going to put it right on in the content folder here. And instead of calling it this, let's just call it a pose. And then underscore, we'll, we can call it Manny. It doesn't matter, or Quinn. And then hit OK. And then hit Export. OK, and now we can just go ahead and close this right here. Go to our Content folder, do a Control-Shift-S so we can save. And now we have our animation right here. All right, so we're going to right-click the animation. OK, so we want to right click the animation and we want to retarget animations. We're going to go and we're going to do the A pose, which is this one. And right here, we're going to pick the actual Maria skeleton, which is right here. And now you can see she's perfectly lined up. And then what we can do is we're going to export this animation. We're just going to call this a well, we're going to call this Mixie for the Mixamo character. 
and do an underscore. So it'll be mixy underscore a pose. So hit export and export. Okay, quick interrupt. So here's an example of some different characters that I've played with in order to get this uh, particular method to work. Now, the key was some of these, is uh, depending on proportions, if you line up the shoulders, usually everything else will follow. But again, you can experiment with this on different methods and different skeletons on your own, and it will get messy depending the more abstract the skeletons are. So, uh, if you're enjoying the video, like and subscribe. Okay, back to the video. Then we can just go ahead, we can close this particular window, go to the content drawer, hit Control Shift S, and we've saved that. And let's just go ahead, grab that, and put it on the actual, uh, in, in the level. And if we zero this out, you can see these partic this particular one is it matches pretty close, it's pretty good. So, just wanted to show you that real quick, but we still got a little bit more things to do here. Okay, so now with this being selected, we're going to go to actor and we want to do convert mixy underscore pose to static mesh. And right here, we're just going to type in SM underscore uh, a pose. And then I guess we say mixy. And then yeah, we'll save it right here to the content folder and hit save. Do a control shift S. Now we can take this static mesh here, put it right here, and then we can do a delete to the skeletal mesh in the level. Select this and we can zero it out and we can see it's exactly the same. Now for this, like I said, I use this one on purpose because this mesh pretty much lines up perfectly with the uh, Manny skeleton. The key thing to remember is make sure your shoulders line up. That's the key to getting this accurate. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're gonna move the Manny skeleton out the way, or Quinn skeleton out the way for this case. Now, let's go ahead and select our static mesh, and we're gonna go to up here into the part right here, and we're going to select modeling. Then what we want to select is the X form, and I'm just going to see, I'm going to adjust this so we can read this a little bit better over here. Okay, so first things first, we want to edit the pivot, and for the pivot, we want the world origin. See this right here? Hit that. And then all that's doing is it's just reaffirming that it's centered into the world, so that's where the pivot is, okay? And then we're going to hit accept. Next, we want to bake the transform. Now, we haven't transformed anything, meaning we haven't resized or shaped anything, but I want, I'm teaching this method so you get in the habit to always bake the transformation, okay? So once that's there, just hit accept and it's transform because later you may have to adjust the mesh to match the size of the, the quins here, and that will be the reason why you want to be in a good practice of doing that. Okay. Yeah, so we can uh, set this back to selection. And then right here, this should all be done. So right here, you got two unsaved. Let's just do a Control Shift S to save. We're going to go to the content drawer. And right here, we're going to right click this and we're going to convert this to a skeletal mesh. Okay. Now, for this part here, we don't want to create a new uh, mesh. What we want to do is use an existing skeletal mesh. Okay. For the existing skeletal mesh, we're going to use the same one that we're using, the simple Quinn. And that's just going to change this SM underscore to this, to skeletal mesh. That's all that is. And then hit convert. Now let's do a control shift S. All right. So we're going to, right here in the content folder, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the skeletal mesh and we're going to we're going to double click on it. We're going to open it up. Then what we're going to do is we're going to edit the weights. Now we're under the skin thing here, right? So we're going to open up this transfer weights tab 
and we're going to select a source skeletal mesh to get the weights from. Now, the weights basically means, well, first, let's just populate this real quick. Let's, uh, so we're going to use the same simple mani or simple quin, right? Zoom out a bit. And all this is doing is basically it's making sure the skeleton matches the movement of the actual flesh of the mesh here. So we're not going to manually paint this. What we're going to do is we're just going to transfer the weights from this one to this one because they're the exact same basic structure and size. So let's go ahead and hit the transfer weights. You're going to see that pop up on the right. And then you're going to hit apply to asset. Now, if you don't do this, you'll have a character running around in the T pose. So that's why you don't want that. So now let's, hit, let's go ahead and do a control shift S. All right, let's go ahead and open our content folder back up. Well, actually, before we do that, let's go back to our level. We can close this out. This should be done. And right here, let me see, we're going we're gonna to go to our window up here. And we're going to go ahead and add, if you don't have it already, the world settings tab. So just check that right there. And then right here in the world settings tab, you're going to want to, for the game mode override, you're just going to use the third person game mode. And what that does is it'll populate everything here. So that way we can walk around with our character in this new level and just hit save. Now let's go ahead and test out our character. Now to do that, we're going to slide this open a little bit. We're going to find the default pawn class, which is third person. We're going to go to this icon here. And then we'll pull up the third person blueprint. Now, with the third person blueprint, we're going to select the mesh. And then while we're in the mesh, we're going to change out uh, this particular one here. So we'll change this to our new mesh, which should be our skeletal mesh A pose mixy. Okay. We're going to do a compile and a save. Go to the viewport. And you can see our character is acting like the Manny because it's using the exact same skeleton. So all animations will go to this character. All right. Let's go ahead and go back to the change room. We'll hit F11. Let's, um, I'm going to hit Alt P to start playing. Let's see if our character works. And as you can see, we've replaced the skeleton of the Mixamo into the skeleton. Uh, I mean, uh, we put the epic skeleton in here. Nice, you completed the video. Let's see what you can do with the next one. Let's go.